Hey there everyone, my name is Brian Lovelace. I'm the founder of NaviUpgrade.com. Today I'm going to be showing you the easiest way that you can update your Sync 3 system to have the latest maps and the latest Sync 3 version, version 3.4. All you'll need for the update is going to be a simple 32 gigabyte USB thumb drive along with a Windows PC. Let's get right on into it. All right, so the first thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to want to go to cyanlabs.net slash forward. I already have the page open here. And what we're going to do is download the Sign 3 updater here. We just go to View Application. And then we just go down to here and we click Download right here. I'm going to save this to my documents. My downloads, rather. Wait for it to download. It's a very small download. Open it. And you might get this error. So we're going to go to More Info. Run Anyways. Yes. Next, install, and then we're going to go launch Sign 3 Updater. So now it's going to say that there's a disclaimer. Click OK. And then we click this check mark right here. And now here is where we get to do all the setup for our USB update. It's important to follow these directions to a T to make sure that you don't break your APIM in the process. All right, so as you can see here, we need to find the full sync version of our current unit and then set our sync region. I'm in the United States, so I'm gonna pick North America and Canada, and this module does have navigation, so I'm going to tick that to on. Now to find our current sync version, all we need to do is we need to go to settings, we need to go to general, we need to scroll to the bottom, oopsie, it went a little too far, and we need to go to about sync. As you can see, our current version is sync three, software version 3.0, build 17276. So that's what we're going to enter into this software. As you can see, our current maps version is North America 116. So that means these maps are from 2016. So those are gonna get updated as well. Now that we're back in the Sign 3 updater, we're going to type in our full sync version. So this is going to be 3017276. Again, we're in North America and Canada and our unit has navigation. We're going to keep this as auto detect and we're going to say show all releases and uh, we're going to keep it as that. So what we do is we click apply settings. Perfect. Now we get to select a USB drive. Now I'm going to plug in my USB stick. Now I need to select the USB drive in the application. As you can see, it's showing up right here as vendor co 29.3 gigabytes. Perfect. If yours isn't showing up after you plug it in, please click this refresh button. Now we're going to select our version. Our region is going to be North America and Canada. Our version is going to be, uh, let's look at the notes here, as of December 2020. So this version seems like it has a lot of bug fixes, so we'll be installing this one onto our USB drive. We're going to select our maps package as uh, 1.19, so 2019 maps. North America. Perfect. Now we've got uh, our Grace Notes package. Everything is selected there. And our install mode is going to be reformat, which is exactly what we need. We just click start. And then we say yes, because our car is not manufactured in 2020. If your car is manufactured in 2020, this could break your sync system. So please do not use this updating system. Again, your car isn't made in 2020. Yes. Yes. It's going to ask about reformatting. Now it's going to download everything and put the packages onto the USB stick. This can take quite some time, up to an hour or more if you're on a slower internet connection. So just be patient and it'll be done when it's done. All right, so as you can see here, now it's asking if you want to upload a log. We're going to say yes. You don't need to do this, but I uh, figured I'd help the community out. And uh, it's going to open up this log and okay, we're good here. We can just close this. And then it says, would you like to update your current sync version in the app? So it's correct for future use. Uh, most people I'd say yes. I'm going to say no because I uh, update these units all the time and I need to be changing that profile all the time. So I'm going to say no. And it says, okay. Now we can just remove our USB drive. And now we can insert our USB into our Sync 3 uh, USB hub. Uh, since I'm on a bench tester here, I'm just going to be using this little cable. Uh, and it's going to say, it's going to restart the system. 
It says installation complete. Now we're going to hit close. It will reboot to a different screen where it will start repartitioning the EMMC and start installing the new Sync 3 update. This is going to take about 28 minutes on a navigation unit or about 12 minutes on a now navigation unit. So I would recommend going for a drive or doing something like that while it finishes the update process. Alright, so as you can see the update has successfully finished, indicated by this green screen here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reach in and I'm just going to pull the USB drive. And as I pull the USB drive, it'll know that I've pulled the drive and it will restart in just a second. Give it a second while it thinks about everything that has happened to it over the last 26 minutes. Alright, so now that our Sync 3 system is booted, we can actually go into settings here. We can go into general, we can scroll down and go to about sync, oopsies. And we can see that our software version is uh, 3.4, build 2282, and then we can scroll down and check out our maps. Our maps package is NA119, which means that it's the 2019 version of the maps, which is the latest available. Sorry for the screen being a little finicky here. Uh, when you're outside of the car on a bench tester, there's no real ground uh, to the screen. So what I'm doing is I'm actually just touching the frame of the screen and using that as the grounding point, which uh, makes it a lot smoother. So this won't be as finicky in your car. It has nothing to do with the update. It's just the fact that I'm on a bench tester. So yeah, that's all you need to do to update your Sync 3 system to version 3.4 along with updating the maps to the latest version that's available. Hey, thanks for watching my video on how to update to Sync 3.4. Please remember that if your unit is not equipped with maps from the factory, that doing this method and checking that little navigation bar when you're creating your update USB isn't just going to give you navigation because unfortunately the non-navigation modules don't have enough memory to store the maps on them. So if you'd like to add maps, please head over to naviupgrade.com and purchase a navigation APIM module. If you have any questions, drop them below. If you like this video, please hit that thumbs up button. And if you like this content that much, I'd really appreciate you hitting that subscribe button for more videos like this coming up in the future. And until next time, take care.